Hello everyone, this is Nancy from teachingwithnancy.com and today I would like to show you how to use this new augmented reality website and free app that you can download on your iPhone or your any smart device, iPad. It is so fun and amazing. I can't wait to show you how you can use this in your classroom. On your desktop you can sign up for free. Here's the website. You go there and you sign up, you create a free account, and then this is what you, your screen will look like when you open it up for the first time. You just close this, and now I'm going to look for a trigger image. You can see that I already have two that I've already created, and what you need for this is any image that you can something a picture that you have of something it can be children's work it can be an image that you found online any image and that is going to be your trigger image so that when you put your uh, when you open up Erasma the app on your phone or iPad this will be the image that will trigger the overlay to begin I'm on Google images right now and I'm going to for this example use a waterfall so I'm going to uh, choose one of these images. I'm going to choose this one right here to be my trigger image. So I'm just going to save it to my Google Drive and then that way I can upload it into my Erasma app. To create the overlay I'm also going to need a video. Now it needs to be something that is not too long. This one's 21 seconds long. So I'm going to copy the URL for this because I need to convert this into an mp4 file. So I'm going to copy the URL and now I'm going to go to another site where I will convert it into an mp4 file. This is the site I'm going to use to convert my YouTube video into an mp4 file. You can use another one if you prefer. This is just the one that I use. That now that my file has been converted, I'm going to save it, um, the link to, to my Google Drive as a video file. I'm back on my desktop at Erasmus Studio and now that I have my trigger image and my video overlay saved on my Google Drive, I'm ready to create my Aura. I've named it Waterfall 2 since this is the second one that I'm going to make. And I'm going to browse now and I'm going to go to my Google Drive and I'm going to look for the image that I want to be my trigger image. Here's the image I want to use and I'm just going to click open and save. And there it is. And now I need to add my overlay. You click on add and now I'm going to give it a name and then I'm going to browse and look for my mp4 video that I just converted. And there it is. And I'm going to save it. My video overlay has already been uploaded and now I'm ready to create my Aura. Close that out open up the auras and here's where you're going to add it and it's I need to give it a name my trigger image I need to choose the channel and now the video and there it is and here's my image and I need to choose where I'm going to put the video. Do I want it to be right above the image? Do I want it to come out on the side? You can actually move it around. I just resized it right here just to make it bigger and then after you're done you just save it and now it's going to go to your channels To find it again, you go to your auras, and th those are the three that I've created, and you can just click on them and they'll open up and you can see what they, what they look like. 
and this is the one that I just made and now what you'll need to do is um, you'll need to print out the picture of your trigger image and then download the app and then you can just scan your phone or whatever wherever you have downloaded the app over the trigger image and you will be able to see the overlay come alive. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful to you in getting you started using Erasmus Studio. Um, it's a lot of fun. I could see a lot of different things that you can do with this to get students excited. Um, for this one right here, um, I, I put the word on there. I thought it would be a good idea to use for vocabulary building, for waterfall. If maybe they don't, they've never seen a waterfall or know what a waterfall is, and so this is a great way to introduce all that new, those new concepts and vocabulary. So have fun with it. And I can't wait to see what you create.